to calculate the spring pile constant we can go to the pile load test and using the load we can take the slope this is the range and it can be 9 mega newton per millimeter if we go for another RQD we can reach 4.5 for the same pile which is embedded in the rock so this range is, is can depend and can defer the results of the design as you can see in these figures what we have did we choose to we make a pile pile draft with a 25 piles with a spacing of 3d and we assume that in the finite element using safe software in the finite element we have assumed that the pile cup, uh, constant the pile spring constant is 9 mega newton one and in another case we have assumed that it's 4.5 mega newton and then we check how much the pile load is sharing in each case as you can see that the pile load sharing is less when we have less spring constant because the pile is weaker and the soil is uh, the, sorry the rock is taking more in this case the difference between these assumptions can take the pile load if we assume that the pile is, is 4.5 and then we reach is 9 mega newton so the pile will take more load and maybe it will not be adequate to resist this wall we have also did this for 6D, spacing of 60, and this was a very huge difference because here you see that the pile load share is much smaller and the difference also can be because of the, of the wrong assumption of the pile uh, spring constant or if we assume that the subgrade reaction is 150 and then we reach the 300, so the pile load share will be less and the subgrade will be more we have to estimate both of them because if we assume also any numbers it can give other other uh, uh, results for the pile load share and the subgrade reaction share for the other, other case which is the pile is socketed into the rock we calculate the pile constant which is 1.5 mega newton per millimeter and this is the difference using the 1.5 also for 3d and 60 and as you can see that in the 60 you have difference even for the uh, rigid draft or the flexible raft conclusion of the research that you have to make an accurate determination of the pile spring constant and the subgrade reaction we can do the pile load test before the design stage before we finalize the design because it will affect the design of the foundation so avoiding double error is much better than uh, doing double error or making one error is better than doing double error the last part of our graduation project is the project management and the scheduling for the project we have four divisions which is the work breakdown structure the quantity estimation the cost comparison between the ripped slab and the flat slab and the project scheduling using P6 Primavera P6 the first one is this is the work breakdown structure as you can see project we have to fight for site preparation work substructure substructure and the marina for the site preparation we need mobilization surveying and substructure we need piles foundation work in the substructure we will go for car parking floors and the ground floors up to the 22 in the quantity estimation we need the materials the concrete we have around 7500 meter cubic the concrete 40 the concrete 50 and the steel we have calculated the how much total and the vertical formwork the horizontal formwork the labors we need some labors mason vibration steel fixer carpenters we have only calculated the labors and the material related to the structural members we did not include the architectural members or any mechanical equipment that will be on the site the resource planning we have given the resource cost rate for each labor or the equipment for the excavator trucks tower current steel the major things in the brand and we took the productivity of each activity we have uh, comparing between the ribbed slab and the flat slab and we were fixing the duration and playing with the uh, labor that can be used or the cost and we can compare the activities of ribbed slab and the flat slab if we either fix the duration or fixed the uh, labor numbers and the uh, productivity
So we fixed the duration and we compare the cost between the flat slab and the ribbed slab. The ribbed slab was 33% cost increase. And this is why, because the ribbed slab is full of ribs and four morgues, and this is, will be uh, very costly. In the project scheduling, we have used the uh, Primavera and we have put in all the relations between the floors and we checked the uh, S curve of the structure, which is uh, describing the cost per the time for the project. This is the labor histogram, and this is what because we initially we will need some a huge number of uh, labors, then we will decrease the number of the labors in this site. For the structural members only, we have calculated the cost and it will reach 40 million Qatar Riyal. The total duration for structural members only around two years. And this is depending on one shift, depending on a certain number of uh, labors, not uh, a huge number. The starting date will be whatever and completion date is whatever. Project conclusion, we have applied the theoretical knowledge into a real project and real architecture constraints and we have worked and followed the design codes that is available into the field. We have improved our engineering skills, our self-learning, our time management. We know how to uh, work in a team. We know how to manage our conflict and we know how to solve the problem that we face in the project. We are very happy in this project and we did a great job and we really thank everybody that helped us in this graduation project, especially our professors and our colleagues, our fathers, our mothers, everyone who participate in this project. Thank you very much and you are welcome to ask any question if you have one. Thank you.